Hi, good morning you guys and welcome to another fun day of learning from the comfort of your own home. Does anybody know which number goes with today? If you take a look behind me once again on the calendar, I might give you a clue. Mm -hmm. This was yesterday. So if you look carefully, you'll see it has a three and a zero. It's a double digit number. That's right. So which number comes after that one? That'll be today's number. Mm -hmm. Does everybody know that? Okay, that's great. Can you draw it up in the air? Let's do that together. Excellent. Now we know how it feels and which way the numbers are facing. Okay. Now, Piggy, still looking after the numbers for us. Thanks a lot, little pig. Um, let's see if we can find that number. All right. So, hmm. no, not even a double digit number. What number is that? Excellent. No, that's not it. You're quite right. Uh, so, could it be this one? Sorry, what's that? Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Dun, dun, dun. So, let's pop this up on the board. See if I can get something sticky. Excellent. All right. And does anybody know which day of the week it is? The number 31 is up there. So which day of the week is that? The first day is here. And then that's a m, m, m. And then the second day of the week, t, t, t. Yes, you got it. Fantastic. It is Tuesday today. All right. And this is the last week of school before the Easter holidays. Now, it might not feel like a holiday because you've been at home for the last two weeks already. But it is the last week of schooling uh, and of online learning before you have two weeks with your family um, at home. It is also the last day of the month. Now we know the month is March. Today is the last day of that month. That's 31 days. Does anyone know which month comes next? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, it is going to be April tomorrow, okay? And on April the 1st, that is April Fool's Day, and so any time before 12 o'clock midday, you can play a trick or a joke on somebody, all right? And they can't say anything to you, because April Fool's Day is the day on which you can do that. All right. Maybe your mum and dad might not thank me for telling you that, but think about that for tomorrow. OK, so good. Today we're going to start with a bit of maths and it's up in assignments. It's double digit addition, just like last week, but this time with a twist. OK, this time it's word problems. Mm -hmm. So you're not just reading out the numbers and adding them together. One double digit number underneath the other. But you have to read a sentence with words and numbers in it. And then you have to figure out how to put the number problem together. Okay? A little trickier. Some advice for you. Look out for keywords. Keywords. How many in total? How many all together? And how many together? Okay? You can't read all of the words in the word problem. You can still find the answer. Okay? Use the Skippy Frog reading strategy. So if you find a tricky word, skip past it to the next one. Look really carefully for those keywords. In total, all together, together. Okay? And then the numbers that you find within that problem, take those out, put a plus sign an addition sign in the middle there and add those together. You'll need to do some regrouping 
Um, with others, you won't need to do that. Okay? It's up in assignments. It's my own specially created animal double uh, digit edition. And the very last question is triple digit. Okay? So, mm -hmm, I know you're ready for that. Some people chose to do triple digit edition already last week for the extension. And I know you guys, everybody, is ready to have a crack at that one. All right? So, good luck with that. After maths, we've got some unit of inquiry. Okay? And it's one of my favorite things. Um, I'm going to ask you to do a bit of weather watching today. To go to your window, look outside, and see what the sky looks like. What is the weather like outside of your house? You can even go outside for a short time if you'd like to. It'll be a bit chilly, but go outside. Breathe in the air and have a look up at the sky. See what it looks like, okay? And then I want you to do a picture. I want you to draw a picture of the weather. You should be in the picture also. So you have to think about what kind of clothes you will need to wear to go out into the weather. Mm -hmm. So if it's raining, you might want to wear a jacket with a hood. You might want to take an umbrella. If it's sunny and hot, you might want to put on some shorts and a t-shirt. You might want to wear a sun hat. If it's super, super cold, you might want to wear a thick jacket and a woolly hat, maybe even some gloves, okay? Draw you in the picture wearing clothes for the weather that you see out of the window, okay? You can also include your family, your friends into that picture, okay? They also should be wearing clothes that will keep them warm or cool, depending on what weather is going on outside, all right? So that's unit of inquiry. Should be fun. It's one of my most favorite things to do. Then I would like to invite you, and that's why I'm wearing my casual hooded top today, I would like to invite you at 10 o'clock to do a workout with me. Okay, now Joe Wicks is an English guy and every day on YouTube, on his channel, he posts a live workout. All right, so you can join me. I'll be doing it at 10 o'clock, 30 minutes workout. Or if you can't do it at that time, I've posted a link. You can just click on Joe Wicks's session from yesterday. Um, and you can also pause that if he's going a little bit too fast for you, okay? He's going to do some exercises to help build up your strength and build up your fitness, all right? Okay, so that's sport. And then the last thing for today is English reading, right? With a little bit of spelling involved. So for reading, there's uh, a book that you can read online, not in Raz Kids, but I've put the link in Teams. You can go online and it's connected to our weather watching exercise from Unit of Inquiry. Okay, It's a book about storms. I'd like you to read that and there's an activity that goes with it. Mm -hmm. All right. You're going to need to do again a little bit of drawing and a tiny bit of writing. Okay. Then the spelling that I was talking about. Hopefully you've spent at least five minutes each day since last week learning your spelling words with the ow sound, okay? Remember the owl and the pussycat? Mm-hmm, yes. There's another way of spelling ow, though. It's not just O-W, but also O... Yes, super learning, super bubblegum, brain expanding, O-U. So all of your spelling words either have O-W or O-U in them. I want you to ask mum, dad, brother, sister, whoever's around and whoever has time to read out your words one by one and you write them down in your English homework book, okay? Remember, challenge yourself, do it yourself, listen to the words, listen out for the sounds and write down the sounds that you hear, okay? You can send me those, um, take a photo of it and send those through to me on assignments, okay? That'd be brilliant. I will look forward to receiving those. That is all for today, for this wonderful Tuesday. Okay, I wish you once again, as always, a super fun-filled learning day. All right, challenge yourself, do something new that you've never done before, and I will see you again on Thursday for more video conferences. All right, take care out there.